Over the last few weeks, the race for Los Angeles' next mayor has begun to firm up. City Council President Nuri Martinez and Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas are out. There may still be more prominent names joining the race ahead of the June primary election. Real estate developer Rick Caruso and former LA Unified Schools Superintendent. Austin Boydner are reportedly thinking about running. It's good to see the candidate pool filling up. Los Angeles will only benefit from having a broad range of candidates who bring a variety of experience and viewpoints to the race. The mayor's election is not simply about selecting a chief executive for the city. In electing a new mayor, voters will also choose a new vision and direction for Los Angeles. The 2022 mayor's race is setting the stage for a major reset of the city, and there's never been a better time for it, particularly after the upheaval of the last year and a half. L is slowly emerging from the pandemic and there's a deep frustration among Angelinos that the city hasn't made enough progress on homelessness, housing affordability, transportation options and environmental transformation, even after voters approved ballot measures and billions of dollars in tax. Homelessness is already the top issue of the campaign. But the question of what to do is much more complex than decreeing when and how encampments should be moved. High-skilled workers have seen their wages shoot up, while low-skilled workers' pay has been nearly flat. The candidates have to grapple with these larger economic and societal challenges, and offer concrete ideas for how they'll address the housing shortage, as well as income and opportunity inequality within the city. The city is losing ground on one of the major achievements of the last few decades, namely the historical decrease in crime, 